a world where you can download your memories and personality onto a computer to create your own avatar may sound like something from a science fiction novel. But according to Dr. Michio Kaku, this immortal world could soon be a reality. He claims that soon we will be able to go to speak to loved even after they die, by keeping them alive through virtual reality. The avatar will contain memories and personality, which will interact with loved ones just as you would have when they were alive. Additionally, a hologram of them could be beamed from the computer to give a visual perception of the person. In a documentary, on Curiosity Stream, Dr. Kaku said, Imagine being able to speak to your loved one after they died, but it is possible if their personality has been downloaded onto computer as an avatar. You would be able to communicate with them as if they were still here. They would, in effect, become immortal. Dr. Kaku is best known for his expertise in theoretical physics, his previous books have dealt with topics such as parallel universes and the cosmos. But his latest book, The Future of the Mind, takes a look at how rapid advancements could bring about huge changes in how we understand, and use, our brains in the next 50 to 100 years. His theories on the future of the mind are wide-ranging, from the possibilities of telepathy to controlling programmable matter with our thoughts alone. At times, his opinions sound purely like science fiction, but he's convinced that these are developments we'll see not just in the distant future, but by the end of the century. Of particular interest is the ability to implant memories, much like the technology seen in the film Total Recall. First of all, someone goes on vacation before you, and pleasant memories such as walking on the seashore and picking up rocks are put on a disc, Dr. Kanku told Mail Online. Then they're uploaded into your own mind. Relax, and there you are at the beach. Feel the wind at your face, hear the sound of the waves, all the sensations, you'll have a memory of a very nice walk on the beach in some exotic location, that's what this person before you felt. These things are within the realms of possibility, it's only a matter of time. All this will be made possible by significant advancements in our understanding of the brain. As Dr. Kaka points out, we have learned more about the brain in the last 15 years than we have in the rest of human history. And crucially, our knowledge of the map of neural connections in the brain, known as the conctome, is rapidly improving. This is thanks to machines such as MRS scanners that can see which parts of the brain light up as a person performs different activities. In the short term, we're going to be able to connect our minds to computers, so that we'll be able to control exoskeletons, he said. We'll be able to perform primitive forms of telepathy, we'll eventually record memories, and then Alzheimer's patients will be able to push a button and memories will flood in beyond that. The internet will be replaced by the brain net, where you can convey emotions and memories rather than just text. Further into the future, probably the 22nd century, we could control surrogate robots on alien worlds with our minds, so we can explore space without physically having to go anywhere, according to Dr. Kanku. Maybe aliens have already done this, and we're walking into the middle of an interstellar system where people commit regularly to planets and stars, and we're too stupid to know it, he said. On telepathy, Dr. Kanku says we can already take someone who's totally paralyzed, hook them up to a computer, and allow them to send messages on the internet. In the future, you could walk into a room, mentally turn on the lights, internet, answer emails, call up for a movie. Indeed the computer mouse will gradually be phased out. This will be made possible thanks to programmable matter, the dream of creating tiny little dust particles with the power of a PC, known as CADMs, that can change their electric charge and be rearranged, all by our minds. At the moment we are nowhere near getting down to a grain of sand, but Dr. Kaku insists this can be addressed in the future. In principle, in the future, mid-century, when you walk into a room, you'll mentally control all computers which are invisible, like Harry Potter. What he does with his wand is rearrange matter so one object turns into another. That's the goal of programmable matter, to have the ability like a magician. By late in this century, we might have full power. He added, someone from the outside watching us would think we're sorcerers. Advancements in brain manipulation have important moral implications in the future too, according to Dr. Kanku. You could fire a gun and record that, and insert it into an innocent person's brain so he thinks he fired a gun when he didn't. 
Dr. Kanku says it will be entirely possible that we will one day be able to upload entire skills into a person's brain. To become a doctor, for instance, someone could have all the relevant medical terminology and procedures uploaded into their mind. However, he does not think this will make education obsolete, as people will still need to learn how to use this information. If you want to be a great chess player, learning the moves of chess is not enough, he said. You have to chew on it, you have to regurgitate games of the past. In the future, you'll be able to learn the basic rules of calculus, but if you think, what does it mean and, how can I apply this in new situations, then you have to chew on it, and that you have to do yourself. But if all of this sounds a bit daunting, Dr. Kaku we may be able to look for guidance not on Earth, but in the discovery of intelligent races elsewhere in the cosmos who mentally communicate with each other. Some of my friends who listen for messages think first contact will happen in the next few decades, he said. Although Dr. Kaku thinks that estimate is a bit soon, he said it was possible that if contact is made, a race could be an alien consciousness rather than a physical being like humans, and he does not necessarily think they will be dangerous. That itself brings a suggestion that they may be more like the Borg in Star Trek, where people are all linked to a single consciousness. He said such a future for humanity was not impossible, and ultimately the ability to liberate ourselves from the inconveniences of the human body would allow us to explore space like never before. Until, then, we'll have to make do with downloadable holidays programmable matter and learning new skills at the touch of a button.